Mr. Acting Speaker, our residents across the south coast have a very personal collection of, a connection, of course, to our local hospitals. That's because they're either born there, or their children were born there, uh, or they received treatment there, or cared for loved ones there, or visited family there. And residents have a right to expect their hospitals to be world class, with quality facilities and adequate staff. The Berejiklian government has undertaken a significant amount of work at Shoalhaven District Memorial Hospital, including many decades of, of, of neglect, quite frankly, including a new cancer care centre, a subacute mental health unit, the redeveloped emergency car department, the new aged care unit, and a new multi-storey car park currently under construction. These works have, of course, been welcomed. However, now is the time for a major redevelopment of Shoalhaven Hospital, and it is the New South Wales Liberals and Nationals who will deliver this. Recently, I was joined by the Premier, Gladys Berejiklian, and a member for Kiama, Gareth Ward, to announce $434 million to significantly re redevelop Shoalhaven District Memorial Hospital to improve healthcare services for residents of the South Coast. The redeveloped Shoalhaven Hospital will see significant community benefits, which are likely to include expanded elective surgery, more surgical, acute medical and aged care beds, expanded maternity services, more operating theatres, increased capacity in the emergency department, expansion of outpatient and ambulatory care zones. Uh, this amazing commitment, the commitment, one so far unmatched by Labor, has been overwhelmingly welcomed by the South Coast community and is the result of the efforts of hardworking doctors, nurses and allied health professionals and members of the community who have worked with me for a long time, a period of a couple of years, uh, to work on a master plan and then to secure this significant investment. The $434 million investment will deliver new and upgraded health facilities so residents on the south coast no longer have to travel for some services. Planning for the new facility was announced in the recent budget, so the district is well advanced in determining the range of health services needed as part of the redevelopment. The New South Wales Government wants to ensure this facility and its staff can continue to deliver first-class care for patients well into the future. Whilst this massive investment in Shoalhaven Hospital is welcomed, we as a government must continue to invest in health services across our community. And of course, this includes Milton Ulladulla Hospital, where my three children were born. Together, we secured funding to construct the new renal unit and palliative care unit at the hospital, and work is underway to return birthing services to Milton Hospital with level one maternity services, including pre and postnatal services for local families restored to a full seven day a week service with work underway to return to level two service provision. And I'm continuing to advocate for a dedicated in-house CT scanner for Milton Ulladulla Hospital. It is unacceptable, Mr Acting Speaker, for patients, particularly older patients, to be forced to travel to a private provider in Ulladulla to undertake a simple scan. Worse, patients who are unable to access bulk billing and require a public service are forced to travel one hour away to Shoalhaven to undertake necessary scans. I received advice from the Illawarra Shoalhaven Local Health District, which indicates the demand, quote, does not constitute the critical mass required to maximise efficiency for a dedicated CT scanner at Milton Ulladulla and does not warrant the expenditure in technology, physical emergency department reconfiguration and expert staffing. Typical bureaucratic response. However, clinicians who work day in and day out with patients say this is completely wrong. Should clinicians tell me the local health district's figures are, correct, are incorrect and do not take into account patients who undertake scans at private providers uh, and at Shoalhaven. I will always take the word and trust in the expertise of local clinicians and health staff who each and every day dedicate themselves to saving lives and caring for our community. The Premier has heard directly from health staff, uh, and she visited those health staff a few months ago, um, who say this essential piece of equipment is required for Milton Ulladulla Hospital. And I've met with Prime Minister for Health just today and Medical Research, and before today, uh, Brad Hazard and Treasurer Dominic Pirathay to put the case forward for the need to purchase a dedicated CT scanner for our hospital. Our commitment as a government to healthcare of the South Coast is clear. New facilities, additional staff, increased budgets and a $434 million commitment that will change the face of healthcare on the South Coast with a redeveloped Shoalhaven Hospital. From the Labor Party, you get empty promises, or actually you get no promises. Photo opportunities they have, few and far between, but few photo opportunities, and some pretty offensive statements from the Labor candidates who simply don't understand the provision of healthcare services in our community and how we arrived at this point after a long period of time working on our master plan. 
We as a community have proven time and time again that when we want something, we work together to achieve it. Along with local clinicians and health staff, the community and the local health district, I will continue to advocate for improved health services within our communities, including, of course, a return of birthing services to Milton Ulladulla Hospital and a dedicated public CT scanner for Southern Shoalhaven patients. So running again. Speaker.